In the lead up to new restrictions on the export of US semiconductor technology to China, Taiwan Semiconductor was taking a tumble. For a solid month, the shares picked up their pace of descent, adding to their year to date losses. And then Buffett jumped in. The stock leapt on the news of Berkshire's purchase. But do investors see what the Oracle sees? On the surface, the new restrictions on advanced microchips are definitely a hit to sales. 10% of Taiwan Semiconductor's sales are to China, and their customers like Qualcomm, AMD, and Nvidia sell up to 30% of their products to China. But as equity analyst Felix Lee points out, Taiwan Semiconductor sees the rules as limited and manageable, with customers managing by redesigning or rerouting products to achieve compliance, for example. We see the restrictions leading to a halving of high-performance computing growth next year, and a third less growth in 2024. But what remains of the company now still looks very undervalued, especially considering the company sits atop a very difficult mountain to climb in the high-tech world alongside only Samsung. The ability to make 5 nanometer chips, which power high-end data processing and things like the latest smartphones, take an immense amount of money and time. Instead, companies like Apple may choose to pay a premium to be the first to use the technology from the independent chip maker, and then it might trickle down to CPUs at AMD or automotive platforms at NXP. In the long run, it's not hard to see a market for high performance computing and a lasting supplier ecosystem. At least Apple isn't likely to go to Samsung for the next iPhone anytime soon. For Morningstar, I'm Andrew Willis.